If you're a podcaster who records remote interviews, check out this video because I'm going to share my experience recording with Riverside.fm. I'm going to show you what files you can download and then watch till the end to see if my mind is blown. Hi, Andy Wong here from the Inspired Money Podcast. I also have a blog called podcastgym.com. So I just finished recording a remote interview for a podcast using riverside.fm. And I wanted to share what files I was able to get after the recording. Here we are, riverside.fm. This is the dashboard. This is my Inspired Money Studio. So I can either go into the studio, this is when I'm going to record with a guest, or afterwards, you can view the recordings. And here we are. You have two sort of buckets here. You have internet backups, and this is the combined files, either combined audio, host and guest, or combined video and audio host and guest. So you'd be downloading this one if you were not planning to edit and you wanted to upload it to YouTube. You could download this file, upload it straight to YouTube, and you'd be off. That's without any additional intro, outro. It's whatever you recorded. So that would look like this. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so far I like it. Just remind me at the... So you get a side-by-side, -side, you have audio. But then, if you want the local separate tracks, if you really want independent tracks, so this is HD audio. You get a WAV file with, for the host, that's me. For the guest, same, WAV file, high quality. You can also download HD video. So you get the video of me, and let me... Let me just open up that file. That would be this one. See what that looks like. So you remember the side by side, or you can get okay, this. So far I like it. Just remind me at the end, after I hit stop, we need to like let the thing upload before we all close out. So That's the only. this is the full screen of me. It's it's looking great. I mean, the quality is excellent. It's definitely, I think this is um, 1080. It's HD. So the quality is noticeably better than what I am recording using Zoom or Skype or some other platform. So I'm impressed. And again, you've got the audio of just me with, I mean, you get the video of just me or you get the video of just the guest and then you have the side by side. So for video files, you've got those three videos that you can, if you want to do some editing, you can then import it into a graphic, a video editor, uh, video editing software, and make some choices. Do you want the side-by-side, -side, the split screen? Do you go to the guest zoomed in uh, in HD when the guest is speaking? Do you go to the host? You can make those choices. Now for the audio, as I said, you've got these WAV files, separately recorded tracks. There's also a lower quality MP3, which um, still sounds great, but it's just the compressed MP3 file. And I'm not sure about this um, video when it says processed MP4 audio plus video. It's, um, it's not the split screen. It's just the host or just the guest. And I'm not clear on what processing has been done to those files. But for the audio, to confuse matters a little bit, in addition to recording using Riverside.fm, I also have a mix minus setup with a mixer that uh, allows me to record my microphone directly into the mixer to a solid state disk drive. So I've, I normally find that that is the highest quality audio for capturing my voice because it's just going mic to the mixer and recording locally. So there's no 
artifacts or glitches that would be internet related. And then because of the mix minus setup, I'm also getting a separate track into another channel of the mixer to capture the guests separately. And I just wanted to compare what does that sound like? And I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this well, but um, here's my locally recorded track on the mixer. This time of Corona, we've definitely seen businesses that have been shuttered. Businesses have closed down. And then if we compare that to the Riverside WAV file. This time of Corona, we've definitely seen businesses that have been shuttered. Businesses have closed down. But Warren Buffett is famously quoted for saying, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy only when others are fearful. So I find that the audio sounds really good. When I A, B the two, I still prefer the direct recording that I'm getting out of the mixer versus what I'm getting from riverside.fm, but it's good enough. And one thing that I noticed is that I've synced it up here side by side down. But Warren, Warren Buffett, Buffett is famously quoted for saying, be fearful. When it's slightly off. I didn't sync it perfectly. But if you jump ahead by maybe 25 minutes or so, so the end of this call, being or offering, offering a, a venue, venue for a wedding, wedding and, and again, again, that there's, there's a, a lot, lot in there from your podcast, podcast to your I think you're getting a little bit of a lag, um, which that I, I find that I have that when recording in Zoom and I'm trying to record locally. When I sync my locally recorded file to Zoom, there's a lag and it gets off. I can, if I sync it early in the recording, by the end of the recording, it's way off. So if I want to use that locally recorded track, I have to make manual corrections throughout so that... Um, it's close enough and that it's not no noticeable. But I think that with Riverside, if I use Riverside's track, that is not going to encounter the lag problem from the video. That's going to sync with the video footage that's captured by Riverside. And I think the sound is good enough. So this is great. I can, I can use that. And then if you want to hear what I captured locally with the guest. Because almost everybody who invests in us either comes to get to know us in some way, uses one of our webinars, or comes visit with us on one of our... Did you hear that? that was, there was a little glitch there. Let's, let's see if we can hear that again. Because almost everybody who invests in us either comes to get to know us in some way, uses... Interesting. Because I want to listen to Riverside's version now because... Riverside says that it records locally on the guest's computer. When the recording is done, that gets uploaded to the cloud. So in theory, you should not hear that internet glitch. Let's see what happens. Most everybody who invests in us either comes to get to know us in some way, uses one of our webinars, or comes visit with us on one now, of our... Uh... That is cool. So let's just A, B one more time. This is what I recorded locally, what I heard on my side. Because almost everybody who invests in us either comes to get to know us in some way. So on that word, invests. But now listen to Riverside's track. Most everybody who invests in us either comes to get to know us in some way, uses one of our... Wow, that is awesome. Okay. So there you have it. You've got video tracks, high D, uh, high D HD, high def quality, You've got separate WAV files, also high quality. I'm recording locally on my mixer here, and you can see that there was actually something to be gained. Higher quality using Riverside's because it was recorded on the guest computer and uploaded after. That is really cool. And I love on the video part, it's HD, so higher quality than using Zoom or Skype. And you've got essentially those three camera views. You've got the split screen, host and guest, and then separately you've got a you know, zoomed wide shot, full screen 
of the host and a full screen of the guest. And then you can manipulate among those three views if you want to edit that in post. So super cool. I'm very impressed with, with Riverside. That was my first interview uh, using Riverside ever. So I was basically discovering what files are available and I wanted to show you uh, as I was learning. Um, but I'm super impressed and I look forward to, to using it some more. So thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know, have you tried Riverside? Do you like it? Are there any drawbacks in your opinion? And what alternatives have you tried um, that has suited you well? I'd love to hear your comments and hear what's worked for you.